Welcome to another video on Nikkei, Goddess of Victory. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is focusing on a bunch of very, very good characters that actually have high skill investment required. These are units that you essentially have to put a lot of resources into the skills to actually see them be very, very strong. But they, these characters are some of the strongest in the game. It is worth noting this units just in case you do have them, but are un or unaware of what skill investment required for this skills so i'm going to be going over which skill you need to prioritize what level you should be aiming as well um this is resources you can get from obviously going over to simulation farming simulation daily will provide you with so many um skill and um, skill um, skill items sorry as well as um going over to the shop and going over to the arena shop making sure that you guys are buying this out as you can see i've actually done that so anyways hopefully you guys find this video helpful and overall useful because these are some of the best characters in the game but just have high investment requirement but it is cool it is all cool anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content on AK goddess of victory if you guys don't miss out on future content on the game make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on now we should be getting announcements for two limited characters in the future this is just pure speculation but knowing that the winter season slash christmas season is about to come up i believe nikkei is going to be releasing two limited units and when those characters are announced the skills are announced i will be making several videos on that so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you guys don't miss out on future videos on that we should also be we don't know what's going to be happening in the first year i mean the new year sorry we don't know what um, new banner we're going to get but it might be a huge hype banner it might be another program banner so it is going to be important to know how to plan out your resources so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you guys don't miss out on helpful tips and guides okay let's get right into it so the first character we're going to focus on is the unit that a lot of people already knows need heavy investment into her skills but it's actually one of the strongest dps characters in the game in fact the devs had to release a notice saying you can't use macro for this character because she essentially breaks the game and that unit is alice now as you can see i have alice at core three which is honestly insane but i would happily get more copies for her but i can't lie i've not invested a lot into her because i just don't like sniping um but in in fact she's actually an amazing character so going over to her skills what are the skill investment required for her so um the first skill over here basically increases the charge speed and the um, charge damage of your characters when you enter a burst. So two ally units with the highest attack. I believe that also applies to herself as well. So if she does have the highest attack, I do believe this also helps her out. So no doubt about it, the first skill over here requires heavy investment. And what I mean by heavy investment, I mean try to get the skill to level 10 level 10 and then you guys are good in terms of the second skill there is not much of an investment required for this you can leave this at level four so at level four you can leave that um what you want to also invest heavily into is her burst skill this is probably the main way she gets an increased amount of damage because the charge speed is very very important to her you want to be able to scope in as fast as possible and also deal a lot of damage because as you can see from the burst once she has that charge speed well her once the burst kill is activated she does have an increased attack by this amount of percentage plus that charge speed making her a absolutely amazing amazing damage dealer so get this to level 10 so to summarize 10 for 10 that is essentially what you want to be focusing on and honestly you also want to be getting some overload gear on her and the main one you want to prioritize which i don't even have is charge speed charge speed charge damage but more main specific mainly charge speed in my opinion um but yeah heavy investment for this character known as alice she's very very beautiful and the whales love her we also got red hood recently who kind of out is it outshines her i would would, it, would i say outshine her i do think so by a bit um anyways that is alice so let's go ahead and focus on the next character that i would say does need relatively high investment for and that unit is blanc yes you guys might be surprised um i actually think i invested into her slightly wrong but let's go ahead and take a look at her skills so the investment required for this character 
is basically her burst skill you want to try to get this to level 10 so basically what the burst skill does is affect all allies the healing is absolutely amazing um but what you specifically want to also buff up as well is that affects one ally with the lowest hp gains in yeah this is pretty cool max hp increase as well but as you can see from the bottom over here this allows you to actually deal extra damage to the enemy so affects all enemies damage taken is increased by 32 percent you want to definitely prioritize this very very much now in terms of her first skill you can forget this literally you get this level four and stop the shield will not be it's a weak shield however the way shield works in this game is no matter how much damage is done the shield will just break it doesn't you don't get any damage done to your character so just leave this at level four um the second skill is like healing the reason why i prioritized this was like in pvp i need as much heals as possible but essentially the best skill is where you want to focus on but trust me on that she is an absolutely amazing character to invest your um skill materials in and like i said it's only the best skill you need to really invest in so that is it with blank blank being one of the actually yeah being one of the best um supportive characters in the game paired up with noir you are having some of the best characters in the game anyways the next character we're going to be talking about is a program unit and that is dorothy when she was released she was absolutely insane half anniversary had her be an absolutely insane character that a lot of people must have so let's take a look at the skill investment required as you can see i've actually invested a lot into her to be honest you don't really need to invest in a second skill but to me every damage counts and since i knew i was going to be using her majority of my team or as my main you know main uh, burst one character besides uh Litter, i wanted to invest a lot into her but typically with her you want to invest in her skill one and her burst skill so her skill one over here basically um last bullets uh, actually yeah to, it's, it is important you build this character right you need to basically equip her with resilience cube as well guys um anyways like i said skill one and the burst skill is very very important the burst skill does a lot of damage so you definitely want to try and get this to at least level eight and then for level one over here it basically improves her um well improves the team damage to parts as you can see over here damage to parts is increased so um let's see 50 percent yeah so you definitely want to focus on this as well and you know what i i think i want to get this to level 10 right now but anyway so level 9 level 8 so you can go 10 10 10 i'm um, 10 10 you can leave the second skill up at uh level 4 but since Dorothy is an amazing DPS character for a burst one, I want to make sure she does as much damage as possible. So to me, I'll take anything. But um, yeah, high investment for skill one and burst skill. But Dorothy is absolutely insane waifu character. And uh, yeah, the next character we want to be focusing on is uh, Litter. Another burst one character who, in my opinion, is probably the best burst one character in the game literally the best i think the only place she does not work well in is pvp but anywhere else she is absolutely insane i haven't invested in her gears because she's a supportive character i feel like there's not the gears doesn't really help supportive characters in terms of like the overload skills so i just left it um but essentially you actually i think i've under under leveled my my litter honestly I feel like this should have easily been the first character I got to 10, uh, burst kill to level 10. Anyways, so with Litter, you want to invest in her skill 1 and her uh, burst skill over there. Very, very important. You know what? I, I don't think any character will straight up um, like ruin Litter in, in, in the future. Like Litter will always remain a top tier supportive character. So I have no issues with um, investing into her. So I'm going to do that. So you want the, the skill over here, which is uh, lowers the cooldown of her burst skill, which actually does not change when you level it up. Huh. It's the bottom part that changes, isn't it? Uh, max ammo capacity is increased. Uh, crit damage attack buff as well that is cool that is cool um going over to the burst skill over there uh very important you level this up this as you can see buff up your overall allies um attack percentage for five seconds only though but still absolutely amazing burst skill so in terms of investment required i would say level nine for this uh 
with this one cover hp recovery this is pretty good i, I would say leave it at like level five level six and then for her burst skill definitely try to get this to level 10 like the main important one is going to be this one over here this just helps out your overall team damage and it's very very important so in my opinion definitely try to get this to level 10 and there we go with Lita. so let's take a look at another top tier character that you should invest a lot of materials into her skills and that is maxwell which i definitely have not um, as you can see over here however the best thing about maxwell is you can actually ignore the second skill over there and you essentially just want to basically um, upgrade the burst skill and the skill one these are two of the best skills you need to um, level up i don't use her that much which is kind of an understatement uh it's a bad decision i don't utilize her that much um i definitely need to be working on her so in terms of skill investment required honestly try and get this as high as possible so level 10 try and get this as high as possible level 10 as well and then you can literally forget skill to um crit rate and crit damage buff neg neg negligible damage increase um so yeah perfect character though i like i said i've not utilized this character so i can't actually go deep dive into what this character does but her burst skill basically just does insane amount of damage once you've invested into her a lot uh, she's also a sniper character and i believe she pairs extremely well with um well with the new character um, red hood as well as alice so there we go with maxwell let's take a look at another character that does need heavy investment and i do apologize for that noise you can hear Okay, so uh, Madonia over here, another character with heavy skill investments and also try to get the overload on her as well. She's absolutely insane. Um, anyways, as you can see, 997, um, but you obviously want to prioritize the skill number one and two. Now, the burst skill, you don't really, really need to prioritize this one over here because the damage is already great. Um, the AoE potential from the burst skill is already too good. Um, the damage increase is like what is it so five percent two percent two point zero eight percent negligible increase not really negligible but you don't really want to focus on this too much um so skill one over here you definitely want to try and get this level 10 so i'm going to be trying to do that um and then uh, skill two as well now one thing that imp is important about her is you want to get hit rate buff on her gear which i don't have so i am actually currently forced to use this the reason why you need hit rate buff is because it gives you basically a 100% uptime in one of her skills basically uh so yeah anyways that is the skill investment required for modernia so let's take a look at another character with heavy skill investments and unfortunately this is a character i do not own and it is the girl the myth the legend the one that is simply avoiding me and that is scarlet so scarlet what are the skill investment required for her in my opinion nine and eight and then five so nine eight five but honestly with the amount of love scarlet gets <laughs> why didn't you know 10 10 10 her but obviously you want to manage your resources as much as possible so focus on skill one as focus on the burst skill as well especially if you're doing pvp um the burst skill you want to shred so honestly just get this to level 10 get this to level 10 and level 4 level 5 that's cool um but yeah like i said scarlet is insane i still don't have her and it sucks look at this beautiful chick um anyways that is scarlet i don't want to focus too much on her because she just keeps evading me so she can actually f off okay let's talk about another character and this is another pilgrim unit which i also have not invested into because i don't know how this one shot team works and that is with snow white in fact as you can see i don't have any gear on her um, but i'm just going to quickly put this on so in terms of skill investment requirement it is essentially her burst skill you want to dump as much resources as possible her main damage source is literally the burst skill and you need to center her team to you know around her and whatnot but um yeah burst skill get this level 10 straight up um I, once I figure out how to actually use the one shot team comp or whatever with her, I will definitely invest into her a lot more, especially with the gears and whatnot. Um, okay, and then with skill two as well, you want to invest into this relatively um, high as well. So seven, eight, and you're good. 
and then skill one you don't really need to invest that much into as well so it's only the skill two and the burst skill you really want to focus on but uh, yeah that is snow white and then we have a new unit actually that recently was released but actually needs to get the skill to a very high degree or essentially she sucks surprisingly even though she's an amazing character that is tia honestly guys that skill one you want to invest as high as possible to that skill one without it she just yeah you you want to get this at least above level seven trust me above level seven or you're screwed um so yeah level seven or level six i've forgotten what it is but once you get level seven that's cool but try and push this as high as possible so in fact i think i need to work on this even more um to get this to level 10 and then you can you can forget about this like skill two and and uh seven um uh yeah so yeah that, that's essentially what you want to do with tia but like i said the main the main important skill for her is skill one and it's actually a lot more important than you would think now the next character we're going to be taking a look at is the, the 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 new best character in the game and that is red hood simple guys 10 10 10 nothing else nothing else he is the best dps character in the game if you're not like um if you're not putting a lot of resources into her i don't know if you're playing the same game i am so 10 10 10 straight up that's all you need to that's all that needs to be said 10 10 10 um is there any other character that needs high investment into um oh yeah i can't believe i've forgotten about her she definitely needs high investment um so summer anis summer anis i went with 999 uh, but I know she's an absolutely amazing DPS character, so that's why I went this like deep into her. But in terms of what you want to focus on, I would definitely say the burst skill. Um, you you definitely want to level up a lot, um, but essentially just level up everything as well. She's just as like high of investment as uh, Red Hood, so honestly, just go like nine nine nine, and then later on you can work on the second skill over here. But yeah, nine nine nine, literally. And you should be Gucci over there. Um, also, there's actually a couple of characters with very high investment requirements. 2B over here. Um, 7, 10, 9. Uh, essentially, you can just go with 888, eight, eight, I guess. 888. Eight, eight. Um, but, or oh, 889, eight, as you can see over there. But skill 2 is definitely the main important one from her. So, you definitely want to try and get this to level 10 as well. Um, if you want to use this character, um, I think that is it regarding the characters that I want to go over in today's video. Those are the characters with the some of the highest skill requirements right now. Um, yeah, 2B looks absolutely fantastic. So we're going to end off the video in this position. Anyways, that is it for the, today's video, guys. Stay tuned for more content on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. It's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm out.